Hi everybody, my name is Joshua Payne and I'm applying for the role of Graduate Trainee in Operations Management at Wessex Water. I'm going to be talking about leadership styles today and more importantly those developed in the 1930s by a psychologist named Kurt Lewin. Now Kurt Lewin stated there were three leadership styles, autocratic, democratic and laissez-faire. Firstly, the autocratic leadership style incorporates the leader making decision or a plan without discussions with the team, even if their input would have been useful. Now the pros of this are that it allows decisions to be made quickly, um, it also prevents the project from becoming stagnant due to a poor organisation or leadership, um, it also keeps individuals or a team from missing deadlines and it can be more effective in stressful periods. Um, the cons of this are though that it can be demoralising for staff. Um, it can also lead to high levels of absences, it can discourage creativity and it also lessens open communication between the subordinates and the leaders themselves. Now the second leadership style that I need to talk to you about is the laissez-faire method. Now the laissez-faire method incorporates leaders giving their team a lot of work freedom and also the ability to set their own deadlines. Now the pros of this are that there's a high job satisfaction through the independent work that they do. Um, it also allows subordinates to show a high level of skill where the leaders may lack it and it also allows the accomplishment of tasks with very little guidance. But the cons of it may be that there's a lack of role awareness where the roles are poorly defined. Um, it's also very damaging if team members don't manage their time well and also there's low accountability where leaders may shy away from failings. Now the third and final leadership style I'm going to explain is the democratic leadership style. Now democratic leaders make the final decision but the team gets a say on the decision making process. Now the pros of this are that it encourages creativity through innovation and input among team members. There's also high team engagement in the projects and high job satisfaction through that teamwork. This also leads to high productivity as well. The cons however are that it's a time consuming process leading to it being not ideal when a quick decision is required. There's also uncertainty in certain situations and some audience may feel alienated if their ideas are not accepted. This leadership style suits me the most as I'm a team player and strongly believe that teamwork is required to succeed in tasks. Furthermore, I believe delegation is key to a productive team feeling their opinions heard. As a cadet instructor for six years, I stress the importance of communication to my junior instructors and also encourage them to practice their leadership skills as I supervise. Furthermore, when supervising working scuba dives, I have given safety briefs to ensure safety protocols are followed and delegated other divers to make sure they're in charge of diver support ropes. This ensured my focus was on successfully carrying out the working dives. Thank you for your time.